In this video, I'll show you how to use Eleven Labs to make your AI voices speak with emotion. I'm going to show you how I turn this. I'm like a lion. I am a lion. Into this. I am a lion. So before we begin, these are the four things we'll cover in this video. This is how to make good results with Eleven Labs. And also make sure that you're using the best voice model. If you want good emotions, you're going to have to use the best voice model. What does that mean? Well, basically you have your voice here and if you click on settings, you can see here the model that we use. We can choose between a few ones. And the best one for emotion is this one, 11 Multilingual version two. As you can see, our most lifelike, emotionally rich mode. And this is best for voiceovers and content, right? So this video is all about the emotion. I'm gonna give you a great example that sounds really dull by itself, but we can actually add emotion to it so it sounds good. And I'm out of focus. So I'm going to give a sentence. I, I'm like a lion. I am, I am a lion, right? Very dull sentence, but maybe you'll need to use it and you want some oomph in it. Here's what I imagine when I see this sentence. I imagine, well, let me play it for you first, okay. I'm like a lion, I am a lion. I'm like a lion, I am a lion. I want it to sound more like, I'm like a lion, I am a lion. So first thing we need to do is fix the punctuation. So that means commas, dots, full stops, free dots, dashes, stuff like that. And also capitalizing the words that we want to emphasize. So let's look at it. I'm like a lion. Wouldn't you agree that we would have to capitalize the word lion? I think so. And I'm like a lion. I'm like, a, maybe we need a dash somewhere in there. I'm not sure. We'll see. And for the other sentence, I am a lion. That's like a Maybe a comma here, it could also be three dots, it could also be a dash. Let's try just a comma. I am, and I think we should also capitalize this. I am a lion. Okay, let's hear how that sounds. I'm like a lion, I am a lion. Okay, it's very fast. And also, let me just, another quick bonus tip. If you want a break, you can do like this, break time, equal sign, quotation one S for one second. And you do like this. So now we have a one second break in between. I'm like a lion. I am a lion. Okay, so I'm like a lion. Let's see. let me hear that again. I'm like a lion. I am a lion. Okay, we are getting there. Basically, um, this is good to know. Eleven Labs is not just a text-to-speech voice generator. It actually reads whatever you write in it and reads the prompts and the context of uh, what you want to say. So now that we have done a good job on punctuation and capitalizing, we want to give it more oomph, more emotion. This is where we can use context prompting. And I'll show you what that means. First, I like to... Um, put the sentence in quotations. And then just in like a book, if you read a book, they'll say something like, he said, as he was smiling, he said with a confident smirk on his face, etc. So you can just do that and be like, he said with a confident smirk on his face. This may not be what we're looking for, but let me give you an example. I'm like a lion. I am a lion, he said with a confident smirk on his face. So that didn't work too well. I do have another idea of how I want to do it. I want to say like this. He said, also I want more of a deep voice. So I said, he said with a deep voice as if he were in a drama movie. We kind of paint the picture for the AI. And let's see how it sounds now. I'm like a lion. I am a lion, he said with a deep voice as if he were in a drama movie. Okay, he didn't really do it in, in a deep voice. Let's generate again and hear what it sounds like. I'm like a lion. I am a lion, he said with a deep voice as if he were okay. in a drama movie. 
This is all nice and dandy. I think we need more intensity. A good way to add intensity is to do three dots. And uh, I don't want to waste too many credits. Let's just focus on the last part of this sentence. I am a lion. That's what I want. I am a lion, he said with a deep voice as if he were in a drama movie. Okay. I actually like that. I'm going to download that. Maybe use it later. Let's see it again. I am a lion. I am a lion. We can also adjust the settings. And maybe that'll get you more what you're looking for. Let's try and style this up. The exaggeration to 50. I am a lion, he said with a deep voice, as if he were in a drama movie. That's pretty good, actually. I am a lion. I am a lion, he said. That's actually really good. I'm going to download it. Let's say that's what you want to use. Then we would go to our editing software, right? And we would add it into the project. Then all you would have to do is just uh, edit out where he says the last part. He said with a deep voice. Right, so we would just cut this out. And we can even add a little bit of a balanced low tone voice to it. And let's hear it now. I am a lion. Pretty good, right? So that's pretty much it on how to add emotion to your voiceovers. You can play around with it. It depends on what you're going for. But my biggest tip is think about what, con uh, what kind of content you want to make and then add a voice, choose a voice depending on that style. So you don't have to do this all the time. And regardless, you don't have to do this all the time. It's just sometimes you want a little bit more of that oomph and that's a good way to get it. Again, there's four ways to do it. Punctuation, play around the, the dots, the commas, semicolons, all of the punctuation kind of has a purpose. You can play around with it. Also capitalizing the words you want to emphasize and use context prompting as I did here. You can also do simple stuff like he said with excitement, he said with calm excitement, he said as he was smiling, uh, stuff like that and it'll give you good results. And lastly, you can use the settings for the advanced sliders. Usually style acceleration is enough, but you can also play around with the similarity. So if you want like a deep monotone voice in a intense way that you prompted the AI to say, you can add that to 100 and play around with it. But it's all trying to trial and error. Basically, you just want to generate a few times, just like when you are generating a, an image like I did here with the lion. When you ask AI to generate an image, you get four different images and you pick the one you like or you change your prompt. And it's basically the same with 11 Labs. You just got to figure out how to prompt it right. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in another one. Bye for now.